Hey, Charlie. So, how did that scoop at Gabe go? Tom, there was an old man who heard loose pipes in his apartment. Not a ghost or anything out of the ordinary. Well, that's too bad. Guess he isn't just as sharp as he used to be. You know, me and Mr. Martin go a long way back. He was quite the mentor. So, did I tell you about what happened to me in the tunnel the other day? Yeah. yeah, so I'm walking through the tunnel, right? And then all of a sudden, the entire tunnel just like starts vibrating. Yeah, it almost like the devil's stomach was growling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I think at that point you're just imagining things, man. Like, I know what it is. You had too much to drink before you went on that shift, huh? No, like, <laughs> like, no but like seriously though, it felt like, like something was alive down there. I don't want to go back down there. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. My name is Charlie. I'm a reporter for the Havenville Gazette. I overheard what you guys were saying. Tell me exactly what you saw and where. Oh my gosh, you believe him, don't you? Oh, get out of here! So, you're probably the type of believing like the sludge monsters in the streets and everything. Oh gosh, so between the, the beast in the streets and, and the rumble in the tunnels, it's like we got, what, what, monsters in Havenville or something? <laughs> I guess, like... Yeah, I think you got a few screws loose up there, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> screws loose, that's good. That's good. Hey, uh, sorry about my friends earlier. I know they could be quite the handful. It's okay. I deal with this sort of thing all the time. Well, I know exactly what I felt down there. It's the new subway station expansion, about a block past Maple. All right, thanks.